We might not get to afford the next Rolex, but we can surely afford to know about them because knowledge of it is not taxable, right? Well, at least until now. We don't know what the future holds. Therefore, today we bring to you the most expensive luxuries in the whole wide world that billionaires might get in the flick of a second, but will take years for the common man to earn. So welcome to Luxuries Daily Input. Lay back and enjoy this video on top 10 luxuries that a common man can't afford. Number 10, Manhattan Parking Spot. Have you ever thought that your parking spot might actually have a price more than that of your car? A parking spot there has been known to go for a million dollars. As reported, these high market prices are not a reflection of the reality, but it has happened. The typical price of a parking spot is much lower and won't hurt your wallet. Well, not that much. Number nine, magnetic floating bed. After a day's tiring work, there's no one who would not like to lay down on a bed to enjoy a cozy nap. What if I told you that the nap might cost over $1.6 million? You wouldn't want to sleep, would you? <laughs> a bed that hovers inches over the ground, making it feel like a bed that has no legs to support itself, has been engineered for seven long years to bring about a scientific magnificence. The cost makes it affordable for none but the super rich who might want to use it as an art piece because it's not less than any piece of art, is it? Number 8. Crystal Piano How would you like to construct your symphonies on a piano that costs $3.2 million? Pretty expensive, right? The Heinzmann Crystal Piano was specifically designed for Beijing Olympic Games, and we cannot help but gawk at its grandeur. Piano's transparency makes all the inner parts of the piano visible from every angle. Acrylic is denser than wood, and since the pianos have been made using acrylic, it automatically becomes 30% heavier than a regular one. Why would one want that? Simply because of its artistic elegance? Number 7. Bluefin Tuna I live in a coastal region, and our diet consists of fish most of the time. But even we wouldn't want to have fish that would empty our entire life savings. But Kiyoshi Kimura did buy one that costs about $3.2 million. The proud owner of the bluefin tuna runs the sushi zanmai chain. We understand where the fish will be used. Each pound will go for at least $200, but the owner said that it was the best quality. The fish has been endangered and hence the justification for such a high price. Japanese are the biggest consumers for the endangered fish. Number 6. Graf Diamond's Hallucination Watch With a worth of about $55 million entirely studded with white and colored diamonds, this watch is sure to leave you wanting more. We all might have a love for watches but we are sure this one might not be affordable to all. The diamonds have been meticulously cut and put in a single piece that can only be bought by the billionaires. You might call it a piece of art, but wearing a watch while walking down the street, you surely need to be aware of your surroundings. It might get stolen at any moment. Who can resist the want for the most elegant and expensive watch? Number five, 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO. Ferrari has always been fascinating for most of us, but this model was sold at about $70 million. That will put most of our salaries to shame. The model has been a winner of the Tour de France, which is one of the world's famous and historic motor races. This GTO has been extensively sought after by businessmen who want to add to their luxurious collection. Excelling in both looks and speed and discipline, this one is an all-rounder, just like the Indian cricket maestro Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Number 4. Lum Odwat Wanting to decorate our homes with a touch of aesthetic fervor and a pinch of fairy lanterns might be reasonable for a common man. But with a sculpture that sold at about $141.3 million, only Jeff Bezos and his like can put it up in their homes. Created by the sculptor Alberto Giacometti, this sculpture has to be one of the most expensive ones to have ever sold. Set in bronze, this gem of a sculpture had been ready for sale in the year 1947. With six casts of the work, he kept another one aside as the artist's proof. Number 3. Salvador Mundi one can never put a price on art because art is subjective, but this one definitely sold at a very high price. 
Painted by the world-renowned artist Leonardo da Vinci, Salvatore Mundi was sold off at $450.3 million and received the highest bid that ever happened at an auction. The painting shows Jesus making a cross with one hand while holding a non-refracting crystal on the other. The crystal signifies the world whose savior is Jesus. There have been at least 20 more interpretations of the same by Leonardo's students. Do you know who the owner is? Find out and let us know in the comments below. Number two, Antilla. With approximately costing $2 billion, the business tycoon and the fifth richest man of the world resides in Antilla in Mumbai, India. Having 27 floors, the family of Mukesh Ambani inhibits this building that has amenities even Buckingham Palace doesn't. The entire building has been made earthquake-proof for security against any natural disaster. On the other hand, Daharavi, one of the largest slums, is right there in the same city of Mumbai, where Ambani's building is. Oh, the irony. If only the monetary, the divide, could have been lessened, the world would have been a better place to live in. Number 1. Yacht We like our jewelry to be gold-plated, but some love their yacht with a plating of gold. Not only gold, but also decked in platinum, the yacht costs a whopping $4.5 billion. We found it very hard to believe that the yacht comes with a statue made from a bone of the T-Rex. What was the designer even thinking? A wall structure made from a meteoric stone is definitely unbelievable, but it is true. The items listed are nothing but luxuries that a common man can't possibly afford. These items have extremely high monetary worth that is sure to make all of us envious. The magnificence, the elegance, the splendor is way beyond a common man's reach, but we all desire to have them. For wanting to be an owner of a piece of art will not only put you on a pedestal, but people will look up to you for your choices that are anything but questionable. Again, if you strive hard enough, you might be one of the owners of luxuries that sell for millions. Giving up is not an option.